brothers and sisters, Mark McManus, General President of UA here. You know, in these troubling times that we're sitting in right now, I figured I would address the membership the best that I could. And the best way that I could is talking to you directly. You know, we are trying to work with our local unions the best we can and stay in communication. Communication's the biggest word uh, and the biggest gift that we can give right now. But we're working with the local unions and providing them with everything that we can get from a national level. We're working with the national building trades. We're working with the AFL-CIO. We're working with elected uh, leaders and politicians and the CDC and everyone in between. Anyone that has information that's good, credible information, we're trying to share that down to the local union level as well. You know, our greatest concern and your greatest concern is the health and well-being of our membership and quite frankly, the citizens that we protect every day. But our membership is first and foremost. You've heard this over and over and maybe at nauseum, but it needs to be repeated and repeated often. Wash your hands, wash your hands as many times as you can humanly possibly do it, uh, especially in the jobs and the things that we do um, as construction workers, you know? High touch areas, doorknobs and banisters and cell phones that we just touch so often we don't even realize we're touching it. Um, and computers and laptops. Continue to clean those surfaces the best way that we can. Social distance, distancing. It's a word I never heard of. Probably most of us never heard a week ago, two weeks ago. But, it, you know, quite honestly, it's just not something to be said. It's something to be acted upon. The social distancing um, needs to happen, and we need to keep ourselves separated the best way that we can, humanly possible. You know, that's the answer to a lot of these things that are unknown to us as well. And listen to the CDC. Get the good information from reliable sources, uh, the, the government and the doctors uh, producing the right information out to us rather than just, you know, the anonymous Facebook posts or whatever else that is. Look for real information if you have some free time. Don't get all consumed by it. Just do your daily habits the way you need to do and we'll be good. Listen, we're a 130-year organization as well here, and we've been through it all and we've said it all, but, you know, a couple world wars and Korea and Vietnam and 9-11 and famine and depression between all those different things. We're resilient folks in the two countries that we represent. We will come back. It may be a whole lot longer than we think it, it's going to be and there's gonna be wreckage and damage and this is gonna get worse. No leader ever wants to tell you this beforehand but it's gonna get worse before it gets better and we're gonna see where it's at. But we're gonna come through on the other side of 130 years and we're gonna be the folks that are gonna rebuild these two nations. You know that, we've done it every single time. And we're gonna rebuild the hospital systems and the pharmaceutical systems and the waterways and the wastewater treatment plants and the nuclear plants and everything that we do and we brag about and I get to brag about it for you. We are the front lines of this thing going forward. So be proud about that, but we need to be healthy and we need to be smart in these times and we need to be calm the best that we can as well. The members of these two great countries is our backbone. You know, but I need a couple things from you. I'm looking down here at a couple notes. And a couple things that I really need with you is check in with the retiree. You know, check in on Facebook with them. Check in on FaceTime with them. Give them an email. Give them a text. Old-fashioned. Pick up a phone and give a call to a retiree of a member of your local. And certainly look after the elder folks in your own families as well. But that, that matters. And listen, construction workers in general, and UA more than anything else, we're tough guys, right? We think we're tough guys but we're not so tough with a virus like this. If you're not feeling right, if you're not feeling the, the best way that you should, you don't have to be paranoid about it and you're not gonna be accused of being paranoid, get yourself checked out. Take care of yourselves. We ignore the doctor sometimes. We have aches and pains. We go to work when things aren't always feeling great because that's what we do for a living. But we're not, we're not Superman in this environment right now. So I need those things as well. Lastly, stay off social media on the issues that are just, you know, half-baked. We cannot have our folks posting, and we cannot have our folks listening to truths or half-truths that aren't there for all of us. Get yourselves with your families, with your local unions, get your information through your local unions, through your job sites the rest, the rest of the way. The, the social media aspect of this is just ramming up uh, exponentially and as people stay home more and more and more that's going to explode even more naturally so just filter what you're doing in your own lives on social media be careful of what you post if it's not a hundred percent correct you know the last is we're working on legislation as we speak we're pushing 
uh, Chuck Schumer, McConnell, directly to the President of the United States right at this moment on unemployment. That's where we need it. We need it in unemployment benefits to extend the unemployment to folks who are employed, who are getting unemployed, get that number higher per week, get it a longer, uh, a longer way. The federal government is throwing money around left and right to a whole lot of industries, and they very well may be doing the right thing. But the industries that we're worried about is the workers who built America, our pension plans. We're working on that as well, too. The pension plans right now need to get fixed or we're going to get left on the side of the road like we were after 9-11. We were left on the side of the road after 08 and 09. I'm engaged with uh, President Trump and President McGarvey on these issues on a pension immediately and the unemployment benefits. Uh, do I know where they're coming out? They're changing minute by minute. But if we're not banging away, um, it's no good. So if you have some free time, write the, write the Congress fo folks in your area, write your leaders in the area, and push for the unemployment extensions and the unemployment uh, fulfillment of what they owe the workers of this country. National agreements. I have my assistant general president, Mike Pleasant, is doing a phenomenal job on national agreements where we have to be flexible. We have to look at uh, times of uncertainty and we have to look at emergency responses as well. I'm going to talk with every business manager in the nation on Monday on how they can be flexible with their local union agreements. We have to get through the next couple months. We have to get through uh, what we're doing as a nation. We have to change our behaviors and we have to keep the systems that are keeping America healthy operating as well too. So keep that in mind. We're doing that on a national level. We'll give good guidance down to the local union level of what we can do that uh, in that aspect as well. Our General Secretary Treasurer Pat Kellett has got the office taken care of. Uh, we're just about 100% remote. Our pension checks are being handled on both the national pension and the officer's pension. Um, the cash sheets departments are working. The membership departments are working. Everyone is working along. The jurisdiction department is working. We're working remote, but it's like um, uh, we haven't lost too much of a step here at all. So uh, the political action department, my AAs, every single person in the UA office is pulling together. The, the hardest problem is pulling them back because they want to do so many different things at once. We're moving along at a pace that's professional. We got the building in a, in a great spot. Brother Kellett and Brother Pleasant uh, are my right arms here, and every guy underneath them from your directors on down. Up in Ottawa, we're trying to run a parallel track as well. Brother Snooks is doing a fantastic job up there as well, too. So these are, our, these are the things that we're asking you for. A final shout out is to our director of safety, Cheryl Ambrose. She's producing really, really good documentation for me and to educate myself and to educate the officers along with AA, Brad Karbowski, and we're sending this out in real time to the local unions on what is up uh, to date. Right now, what I know of, and maybe we keep in our thoughts and prayers, I think we have a member about 11 day isolated up in 32, local 32 in the great state of Washington, and maybe two more folks that are headed for isolation. And then HVAC Tech, I believe in New Jersey, not sure at a local union, just a couple days. That's two positives. We have a lot of job sites where folks have been positive and people are just getting tested. This is going to grow, folks. This is going to grow a whole lot, but let's keep them in our thoughts and our prayers and uh, keep the United Association in your thoughts and prayers and our two great countries. Thanks for listening.